Okay, can I start? Yes. Okay. Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss another topic. The topic of today is another uh, practice that you can do to boost your immune system. Now, um, this practice has, this is something that has been practiced for generations and has been recommended by people like Dr. Uh, Dr. Sheholt, who is very popular for his Gram medical series and so on. Now, uh, what we're going to talk, be talking to about today is called contrast thermal therapy. Contrast thermal therapy. Now, we all know traditionally that when somebody is injured, when there's inflammation and there's pain, we can either apply a hot pack to it, and that tends to mitigate, okay, or a, an ice pack. So both of them work equally. But then when you combine the two, you first of all apply heat, and then follow it immediately with a cold, the two events will act in synergy and will potentiate uh, each other's effects. So what you are getting is a double whammy effect, okay? By, first of all, exposing your body to, ex so to heat and then later, immediately exposing yourself to warmth, to cold. So in, in the Scandinavian countries, uh, what they do is, you know, they, they go to a sauna where they heat, heat themselves up and uh, after spending five to ten minutes in the sauna, they now run and plunge into an ice cold bath, okay? So from hot heat directly to cold. So that's, that's a way of, uh, uh, of doing a contrast thermal therapy. That means you are exposing yourself to contrasting temperatures okay now how does this work it works by boosting your immunity you know the body uh, reacts to adversity by stimulating the immune system and what you are doing by exposing yourself to contrasting temperatures is to st simulate adversity you are simulating adversity and so once you simulate adversity the body says oh we're under attack and then it brings out all the soldiers from their barracks you know the natural killer cells the t helper cells blah 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 they all come out in mass and patrol and they patrol and they patrol if they see any some anything wrong they, they tackle okay so that is what uh, uh thermal therapy does uh it also it has also been found that when you undergo thermal therapy, your levels of growth hormone and other beneficial hormones, okay, are increased, okay? It also causes you to, you know, burn a lot of, 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 of adipose tissues or fat, you know, the fat, particularly visceral fat, okay, that acts like um, a straight jacket, you know, and causes what is called metabolic syn syndrome. Uh, contrast hydrothermic thermal therapy tends to help you to burn uh, the fat. Um, it also, uh, I've talked about uh, natural killer cells. It also brings out stem cells to do their, their, to do their function. So when you do contrast thermal therapy, you are stimulating your immune system, you are boosting your immune system. It also increases insulin sensitivity so that you are, you are able to metabolize glucose properly and, uh, and, and, and you know, you don't, you are, you reduces the level of hyperglycemia and insulin insensitivity. So that is contrast thermal therapy for you, okay? Now, how do you do contrast thermal therapy? I've, I've given you one example uh, where you, uh, you go to a sauna, you know, and heat yourself up for some time. Or in Africa here, you don't have to go to a sauna, you just some bath. You just go out in the, in the morning and sit down and some bath, get some vitamin D yeah, to, the, uh, to the back end. You get some vitamin D along with it. And then 
you rush in and there's an ice cold as uh, there's ice cold water waiting for you there and you just you know splash it on your body and that shock uh, simulates adversity and the body's immune system gets to work you know you are putting you are putting your immune system to work you're exercising it so that it's ever ready so that if an, a foreign invader comes in it is ready to attack at any at, at any moment so that's one of the ways to do it another way to do it um another way to do it you can do it in your car okay you can do it in your car you just put on the heater your, your car heater you know for about five to ten minutes until you sweat so and then now reduce the temperature you know to uh, your air conditioner put it it brings the temperature down to let's say minus i mean to 15 or or 14 degrees centigrade so that contrasts okay in the temperature okay you are you are using your heater you are sweating hmm? then you really switch to air, an air, air, air conditioning mode and that that contrast now also boost your immune system so there's no excuse you chief executives that are always moving from place to place you can you can you can do your contrast hydrothermal therapy easily in your car or as you are going home after work five minutes to your house you just put on the heater of your car and as you're sweating you just rush and when you get into your house you go straight in the bathroom and get an ice cold shower that's contrast hydrothermal therapy now how often can you do it well as often as as possible you know as often as possible but it's okay if you do it once or twice a week Okay, if you do it once or twice a week, it's okay. It will keep your immune system boosted and you will be able to fight. This is, look, during the recent uh, coronavirus epidemic, it was found out that people who did contrast hydrothermal therapy were able to resist the disease better than uh, people who just clung to each other indoors and, and, and did nothing. So thank you very much. Let's see what I've said in this one.